what I share with people is trying to find a coach. Try to find somebody who can work with you to get you from point A to point Z and fill in all the blanks in the middle where you understand what's going on. You are not looking for patio furniture, you're not looking to get a new outfit, you're not looking for a, a car, you're looking for something that's going to be a major factor in how you live and how you work in your kitchen for the next 10, 15, 20 years. Now I will tell you that I've had people say, well, we're gonna move in about two years. The real estate people said we should update the kitchen, update the bathroom. But what I'm gonna share with you, I don't recommend that. I think you'd be better off to not have to go through all the aggravation of tearing up the kitchen, tearing up the bath, putting in cheap products because that's usually what people do. We just want it to look nice. Leave it alone, get the price for the house that it's really worth, let someone else put the money into it and let them get what they want. You'll probably be miles ahead if you go that route. So finding someone who's fun, someone you can trust, someone who's gonna be a really good steward of your money, that's really what you're looking for. And it's the sort of thing that a lot of people don't really take into consideration. People come in all week long, they've come into our booth and here's what they say. What kind of cabinets do you have? How much is that? This shopping experience is something like you've never done before. It's not the same shopping experience that you normally have. Now, I'll ask a question, and just raise your hand. How many men really love to go shopping? How many women enjoy shopping? Here's the difference. You say to your husband, we're gonna go shopping for a kitchen, and he doesn't go, hey, that's great. I can hardly wait, when do we go? When do we start going? They come out, it's, it's just a completely different experience. So you want to make this fun. So here's what I'd suggest. First of all, don't say, okay, Saturday we're gonna go to five different places, and that's what we're looking for is a new kitchen today. Doesn't work. Do your homework, look around, get some referrals, find someone in your area or your neighbor, someone you've met here at the show. Go visit the showroom, but do it around an event like lunch. If you go in the evening, maybe do it around dinner plans. Maybe go into the theater after you've gone and talked to someone and spent a few hours in the showroom looking at things. Make it a fun event so that it's not like, oh, we just gotta go look at cabinets and we gotta go look at appliances. Make it a fun event. Key coach characteristics are going to be experience, qualifications, the certifications. Most people, most consumers, never ask the right questions. You assume if somebody works in a kitchen and bath showroom, they must be an expert. And I'll give you a perfect example how that's not true. You all remember the Expo Center? Okay, supposed to be high-end, top drawer. It was gonna be the best thing that ever went out there. The majority of, and I'm not saying all of them, but I know for a fact, the majority of the people who worked in the kitchen and bath division didn't make it with other kitchen and bath companies, and that's where they ended up. So they got a black sweater, a gold name tag, it said kitchen designer. There's no assurance of that. As a consumer, you should be asking questions of the people that are going to be designing your kitchen or bath. What are your qualifications? What are your certifications? If they have certifications, master certified kitchen and bath designer, certified kitchen and bath designer, certified bath designer, certified remodeler, if they have those certifications, guaranteed they've got the knowledge because you don't get them for free. Ask for referrals. This is an area that really uh, stuns me. Most people never do their homework. They don't ask people for referrals. Again, I think they're assuming that they must know what they're doing, but you need to be asking for referrals and then you need to take the next step and actually call those referrals. Ask them how the experience was with this individual or this company. Did the job go according to the way they said it would go? Did it start on time? Did it finish on time? And really an important question, were there any problems that needed to be serviced? And if they were, did they take care of those problems? Those are the questions you need to be asking. 
I've had clients come into our showroom and tell me that they'd asked someone for referrals and the company person they were talking to said, oh, we don't give referrals because our customers don't want to be bothered. I'm telling you, that's not true. Most of our customers say, sure, have them call me. I'll even have them come to the house and take a look at it. But you need to be asking for referrals. Are they easy to get along with? Are they people that you feel comfortable with and they really have a passion for what they're doing? Do they really care about you and your project or are they more interested in just selling something? Now I'll give you something kind of interesting. I don't like this and I don't deal with it when it comes to us. A lot of manufacturers will go to salespeople and they'll say, hey, we have a little spiff going on. And if you sell this many appliances or this many cabinets, we're gonna pay you so much a box and, and we'll give you this. The problem with that is that salespeople may be guiding you towards something that really may not be in your best interest, it's in their best interest. So be careful if someone's telling you, oh, this is the best product for you, and you say, but I like this one. Well, that's okay, but you really should look at this one. A lot of times, that's what drives the sale from some of the salespeople out there. So you wanna be careful about that. And how professional are they? Do they dress the part? Do they, they have a nice place to, to work? Do they drive a nice car? Are they trashed? Are they really showing up for appointments late or not at all or canceling appointments? These are the things that you need to be looking at because it's a good indication that may be how the project goes when you start working with them every day. This is a long-term investment for the most part. It's the one thing that you may purchase that if it's not right, it's too bad. You're gonna to have to adapt to it. It's just the way it is. Most people cannot come back and say, okay, now I realize if it were here, let's move these around. You can't do it, it's pretty well done. It's a long-term investment, find someone you trust, look for a coach, not products. Look for someone who can walk you through the process. This, this uh, term coach came from one of my customers. After the job was done, they said, you know, Tom, John and I were thinking about this whole thing and how it went down. We love our kitchen, we think it's beautiful. And my husband said, he became a coach for us. Someone who helped us do the right thing, someone who was telling us what we should consider, not what they thought they would want to have us do. And, and that's exactly what it is. It's someone who's gonna make sure you don't buy too expensive a cabinet if you don't need it, or too inexpensive a product if you don't really want it to last a long time. It's someone who understands the information that's available to us and has the knowledge to carry it all the way through. So I realize again, there's a lot of resources out there and there's things you can look at. I encourage you to look, I encourage you to see as much as you can, but I really don't encourage you to go out and get people to start coming in and doing that because it'd be no different if you wanted to build a house. Anyone here ever have a custom house built where or anyone ever use an architect? You would never go to three or four architects and say, okay, here's all the stuff we want. Whoever does the best job gets my business. It wouldn't work that way. And the same's really true with kitchen and bath design. Information without knowledge is dangerous. It really is. There's tons of information, but we, without the knowledge to support that information, you're at risk. We have customers every single day that come in our showroom, they say, well, I don't want granite because I know it's high maintenance and I've been told you gotta seal it and you gotta clean it, I don't want that. I go, that's wrong. Well, that's what I heard. And then another one has to do with glass shower doors. Clear glass shower doors, we say, I don't want that. I don't want any, something that high maintenance to clean. And that's wrong. We have protection that we put on shower doors that are 15 year guaranteed. Never to have all those runs and all the maintenance that's on most glass shower doors. So if you're working with someone who really understands these things, you're gonna have a better opportunity to have a better product.